part two of this incredible dinner, my quick and easy arro con gandule. Hear me out, friend. Arro con gandule doesn't have to just be a holiday treat. You can make arro con gandule any night of the week, okay? Let me show you how I do it. Sorry, I thought I was recording. I put a little bit of avocado oil down and about a tablespoon and a half of sofrito. My bad. <laughs> Arro con gandule for the holidays can have all of these extra ingredients that really are wonderful, but a lot of times I don't even have them on hand. No ham is going into this, no banana leaf on top. It really is just going to be a sofrito based rice. Into this sofrito, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my gandules. I rinsed and drained mine this time. Okay, right to my gandules, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and a little bit of chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add about half of this can of salsa. And then I've said it before and I'll say it again, as someone who does not like olives, you just need them, okay? So I'm gonna add about that much. And a little bit of the juice. Trust me when I tell you, you can't taste them. They just add this flavor profile that you really just can't explain. They're necessary. <laughs> In here, I have four cups of water because I'm cooking three cups of long grain rice. If you've seen any of my other rice videos, you know I like to add just a little bit more. So I have about maybe a quarter of a cup in this, just because like I said before, you have to bring this up to a boil. So once it comes up to a boil, some of that water is already gonna have evaporated and it'll probably come down to about that four cups you need to get the perfect texture rice, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm also gonna add a packet of sazon. Now, hear me out. If you don't like sazon, you can always go ahead and substitute it for achote oil. There's a couple of creators on here that have really great recipes for some good achote oil. You would use that to cook at the bottom instead of an avocado oil, a plain avocado oil. I actually think I'm gonna make an achote oil this week. I just saw another creator on here, Beatriz. She made an achote oil and posted her video the other day. It looked incredible and I'm definitely gonna try to make that. Now I'm gonna let this come up to a rolling boil and then I'll add my rice in. I actually just forgot that I have some of these pimientos from the potato salad that I just made. So I'm gonna add those in there because they add so much flavor with a little bit of the juice. I also made sure to taste my broth here before I threw my rice in. I did add a little bit more salt, but remember that the salt is based on your liking. So make sure you taste your broth first before you put your rice in because you don't want bland rice. You just don't. I don't feel like that spoon trick really has ever worked for me unless you manipulate the rice all the way to the middle. Just shut me up, why don't you? Just shut me up, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down to about medium high and let some of that water evaporate until I start seeing my rice poking through. Now that I can see my rice poking through, I'm gonna go ahead and give this the stir. My lids are all jacked up, so I go ahead and I put a piece of aluminum foil down. You can do this even if your lids aren't jacked up. This just ensures that none of the steam escapes and that your rice cooks well. Put it down to low and just let her do her thing. Our rice has been cooking for about 40 minutes. That's one of the things I love about making rice is that you really could just put it on the stove and just let it do its thing for however long you need to. <laughs> it looks absolutely incredible. Oh my God, it's perfect. And I mean, come on, how easy was that to make? Let's taste right here straight out the pot because why not? Oh my god <laughs> i'm just imagining right now the way this is going to taste with my ribs and the potato salad that i made dinner is going to be so fire 